I will call tonight's uh, meeting of the Utilities Service Board to order. Um, before we launch into agenda items, we do need uh, a motion to amend our agenda uh, with the addition of item number seven, which is a request for approval of agreement with American Structure Point. Uh, is there a, a motion to approve this amendment? So uh, moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. All right, all in favor. Uh, Latrina, please call the roll. Okay. Roberts. Uh, I'm Julie. sorry, I'll call it again. Julie oh. Roberts. Oh, wait, there she is. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, I'll move on. Uh, Sherman. Yes. Bannock? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Kapler? Yes. And Roberts? Yes. Thank you. All right. Okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, first item is the approval of the minutes from our previous March 15th meeting. Uh, are there any questions or additions to the minutes? All right, seeing none, then is there a motion to approve the meeting minutes from last meeting? So moved. Second. And Latrina, please call the roll. Panic. Yes. Kapler. Yes. Sherman. Yes. Burnham. Yes. Roberts. Yes. Parmenter. Yes. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, next up, approval of the claims. First is standard invoices in the amount of $602,024.28. Uh, any questions on standard invoices? All right, uh, Amanda. Sorry, I'm just looking. There was an email that came from Jeff earlier since he had to uh, cancel on us at the last minute. He did have a question on the claims the HACH company. So I'm trying to see what page that's on here. It's on page two. Page two, correct. And his his question is, does the does the WIMS encompass both water and wastewater? If it's only water, then why is wastewater paying? It, it's both water and wastewater. It should be divided up. Good. I just want to make sure Jeff's question got addressed. He, he asked a second question regarding the uh, contract for or the MOU for replacing uh, for the playground equipment uh, at, um, at the park. Uh, the reason that playground equipment needs to be replaced is because we tore it out to build a sewer. So um, the, the reason we're paying for it is that we, we when we started uh, part of the uh, the the Jordan formerly Jordan River culvert project goes right through the playground at Third Street Park. So we had it all had to be torn out. So we have to replace it. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, so uh, any other questions on standard invoices? All right, seeing none. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. And Latrina. Kapler. Yes. Sherman? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, utility bills in the amount of $142,258.95. Uh, any questions or comments on utility bills? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. And Latrina? Commenter? Yes. Kapler? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Herman? Yes. Thank you. All right. Utility bills are approved. Next are wire transfers in the amount of $356,468.12. Any questions on wire transfers? All right, seeing none, is there a motion to approve wire transfers? So moved. Second. 
And Latrina? Sherman? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Kapler? Yes. Carmenter? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, next are customer refunds in the amount of $2,088.05. Uh, are there any questions on customer refunds or comments? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve refunds? No moved. Second. And Latrina? Roberts? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Kapler? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, next is the approval of the consent agenda, and I'll turn it over to Vic Kelson. Good evening, everyone. I'm happy to bring the consent agenda for tonight. Uh, it totals $34,944.25. The first item is uh, Lane Christensen Company for $10,770. Repair the intake pump number one at Monroe Water Treatment Plant. Item, the second item is to Commercial Service of Bloomington for $15,686.25 uh, for installation of the cooling unit for the variable drive, drive pump at the Monroe Intake Building. Uh, well, that's hard to say. Uh, the third is to BL Anderson uh, Company for $3,898 for startup and programming the level indicator for the ammonia tank at Monroe Water Treatment Plant. Uh, Sites Scale Company, $2,790 for the scale calibration at all three plants. Corson Fire and Security, $1,800. That's a monthly security system monitoring at the service center. And Electric Plus, uh, there's no charge, the First Amendment to extend the contract expiration date. Uh, are, would any of the board members uh, wish to hear any of these items separately? Hearing none, if, um, if there's no opposition, the consent agenda will be approved as recommended by staff. Uh, hearing no opposition, the, these items pass. Thank you. Thank you, Vic. All right, um, next we have a request for approval of an MOU between CBU and the City of Bloomington Parks Department for replacement of playground equi equipment and infrastructure at Waldron Hill and Buzzkirk Parks. Uh, Chris Wheeler will tell us about this. Good evening, uh, good afternoon, evening. Uh, Chris Wheeler with City Legal and uh, last week my counterpart, uh, Daniel Dixon, who is the attorney for Parks took this MOU to the Parks Commission who reviewed and approved. Uh, they, I understand, have signed. I just don't have a subject of that agreement yet, uh, but we are as a staff tonight asking this board to review uh, the MOU uh, and to approve it on this side of the equation. Uh, and we'll get all of the signatures married up after the fact. Um, this MOU does contemplate that a couple of things will happen. First off, that um, City of Bloomington Utilities will reimburse parks up to, but not to exceed $160,000 for replacement of various park infrastructure, which predominantly includes a swing set, it's a three bay swing set, uh, and a large playground uh, system that had recently been installed within the last uh, five years or so. Um, it also includes uh, some other infrastructure in the park, like uh, concrete pads for park benches that had to be removed. Um, and, and then uh, another aspect of the MOU is identifying that the City of Bloomington Utilities uh, has, through its uh, contract with Milestone, in included in that contract the cost of the replacement of any adjoining sidewalks that run the perimeter of the park uh, around uh, adjacent to the, the streets that uh, box in the park uh, and also to repair and replace uh, parking lot uh, surface on the south side of the uh, of the third street park uh, so quite a lot going on here it took a while to negotiate the terms and conditions. There are other aspects of this where uh, some, some removal of trees and such is happening, but is not part of the MOU. 
Uh, but I'm happy to try and answer any questions um, that you may have. And yes, uh, Vic did uh, address the Jeff Eamon question um, already. So uh, if anybody has any follow-ups to that, I'm happy to try and answer them. Thank you. Okay, are there any questions from the board? All right, well, uh, seeing none, then is there a motion to approve this MOU? So moved. Second. And Latrina? Roberts? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Kapler? Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, next item is a request for approval of an agreement with uh, Thaneman Construction Company for the bar screen repairs at Blucher Pool Wastewater Treatment Plant. And Dan Hudson is going to address this with us. Dan. Hello, I'm Dan Hudson, and I'm here to uh, present a proposal for Thaneman Construction to rebuild the bar screen and its uh, controls at the Blucher Pool Wastewater Treatment Plant. And that's for a, an amount not to exceed $43,000. I'm happy to answer any questions. Okay, are there any questions from the board? All right, uh, seeing none, then is there a motion to approve this agreement? So moved. Second. And Latrina, please call the roll. Panic. Yes. Roberts. Yes. Sherman. Yes. Kepler. Yes. Burnham. Yes. Parmenter. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks, Dan. All right. Uh, next item uh, is the request for approval of agreement with American Structure Point Inc. for professional engineering services to design CBU infrastructure relocations caused by the Fullerton Pike Phase Three project. And Jane Fleeg is going to address this with us. Jane. Yeah, Jane Fleeg for the record. Uh, this is a professional services agreement uh, with American Structure Point Incorporated. Uh, as you recall, uh, the county has been uh, contracting with them for the design of their county road improvements, Fullerton Pike Phase 1, Phase 2, and now we're on Phase 3. Uh, in all of those, we have had some of our infrastructure that has to be relocated, primarily water on this one and then a little bit of sewer. Uh, I've asked American Structure Point to put together this proposal to design our relocations. It's currently our intention to, to perform the relocation work ourselves with our own crews um, because we have a little bit of time. I believe we may be looking at starting the end of this year or beginning of next year. So we've got a little bit of time to get, get that done. Um, but I needed somebody to help with the design because I'm so caught up with the Jordan or the Hidden River uh, pathway project right now. So. Uh, this is an, uh, a contract for an amount not to exceed $41,400, and I would uh, be happy to answer any questions you have. Okay. Are there any questions from the board? All right. Uh, seeing none, then is there a motion to approve this agreement? So moved. moved. Sorry. So, so moved. Thank you. All right, and Latrina, please call the roll. Kapler? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, um, thanks, Jane. Jane. Okay, before we move on to the next item, I just want to let the public know if you are uh, watching on Facebook Live, uh, there will be a, a, a chance for public comment. And so if you would like to make public comment, please put that in the comment section of the live stream. And um, uh, then Holly will read that out. So uh, next up, uh, is there any old business from the board? Any old business from staff? Okay, any new business from the board? Any new business from staff? None. Okay, uh, I don't think there were any subcommittees that met, correct? No. All right, uh, then staff reports, uh, Mr. Kelson. 
Uh, good evening. I have a few things uh, to share. First uh, is uh, we have a number of new new hires that have happened uh, since the last meeting. Uh, Tim Jacobs was hired on as a plant maintenance mechanic at the Dillman plant. Kim Hillenberg uh, is hired as a customer service representative up front. Uh, in addition, we have three internal transfers. Uh, Shane Blake and James White uh, have joined uh, the Blue Tree Pool plant as wastewater operators. And Donnie George uh, has joined uh, TND as a line person. So it's uh, been a busy time for personnel changes here. Also, uh, Barbara Lawyer in the control office is retiring. And uh, I believe, I don't, I think she may have already worked her last day. Um, and Brent Solbrig, uh, who's uh, part of the uh, green infrastructure team, uh, uh, completed his register, registered technician license for uh, pesticide applications. So uh, th those are all important things for the for the way we we're managing the green infrastructure projects. Uh, I also wanted to comment just briefly on the on our progress with the uh, the pandemic. Uh, uh, pandemic response. CBU continues to be very vigilant in our response to the COVID-19 um, COVID pandemic. And I wanted to share that um, we had our last, the last case that we had in-house that was confirmed was on January 26th. So uh, the, city, the city as a whole has gone more than a month, but CBU has gone more than two months now uh, without a diagnosed case. So um, I'm very optimistic that um, that things are improving, but we continue to be uh, vigilant and pay close attention to where we are. This is no time to let up. And then the last item is just to update you on the rate case. Uh, as you know, council approved um, the uh, the rate case uh, nine uh, nine to, to zero. Uh, they uh, also approved the bond uh, proposal uh, eight to zero with one member absent. Uh, we later found a small typo in the ordinance and the council will be correcting that next week before we file with IURC. Chris has been working closely with uh, Dave McGimsey and we expect to file with the IURC uh, around the 9th of April. So uh, we are continuing to make progress on that. Uh, updates will be coming from IURC regarding public hearings and so forth. Uh, and that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Vic. All right. Um, well, then we are at the point for petitions and communications. Uh, Holly, are there any comments in, on our live stream? There are no questions or comments via Facebook or Zoom chat. OK, thank you so much. Um, well, with that, then, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All right, we are adjourned. Thank you all.